Hey guys, welcome to Skip Fusion Hit, 10 minutes low impact. So we're gonna jump straight into the double bounce. Just gonna start with your warm up. Michelle's gonna do the high impact version of this class today. But guys, just remember hit, high intensity interval training. It's not for the faint hearted. So I wouldn't suggest you start with the hit style of training if you're not already reasonably conditioned or used to exercise. And that's primarily because mentally and physically, you have to be prepared to push yourself that much harder. And the implications of not being ready basically mean you're more likely to pick up a niggle or an injury. And secondly, if you're not mentally prepared to push yourself hard, you're actually gonna find it really demotivating because you'll find your heart rate and your breathing goes through the roof and it makes you feel uncomfortable. So you've got to be mentally tough, okay, to do hit. So guys, from here, take it to the twister. Because I'm doing the lower impact option, I tend to stop in the center of the jump rope skill on this one. Michelle always does everything on the single bounce for this particular class. And you'll see that in the high impact option that she chooses to do. So I'm going to split this for you just to show how you can do this without a jump rope, especially if you're limited for space or in fact, you just want to focus a little bit more on the jump rope skill. So that's what it looks like without the jump rope. Either stay with that option or jump straight back into it. Double bounce, working your internal, external obliques, that's working your side bits on your tummy. From here guys, switch it to your jumping jack, again still using your double bounce as your foundation. So you're going to need your water, just don't wait for me to stop. Even both myself and Michelle get exhausted doing this. That's because you're doing it properly. We're committing and we're understanding that the difference with HIT, as opposed to many of the other styles that we produce and talk to you about, requires 100% commitment. So you're really challenging yourself on the effort components of the exercise. Let me show you what this looks like without the jump rope. So don't give me an excuse that you can't do this at home, because you can. Don't need a jump rope. Jump back in for me, just a couple more. Okay, jump rope down. So this is your work in recovery, okay? Opposite hand, opposite toe. Breathe out as you stand up. Just make sure not to lock your knees at the top of the movement. This is your opportunity to mentally prepare for the next 100% effort. So you'll notice that both myself and Michelle, especially when we do high impact, we can barely talk. Alrighty, grab your jump rope. Let me show you this one without. So this is a swing kick. Flick the heel back and out, just like so. Again, using your double bounce. Again, front, there. Flicking it out and kick. Try it with your jump rope. Again, double bounce. So flick, out, flick, out. There's a bit of coordination involved with this one. But look at the subscription and we teach you how to do all of these different jump rope skills and exercises properly. Okay, 30 seconds, mental recovery, working recovery, hip rotations. Use it as an opportunity to recover. Just a few that side, and then I'd like you to switch directions. 
I'm psychologically preparing for maximum effort. So 10 minutes, guys. Don't tell me you don't have 10 minutes because it's an excuse. Right, burpees, I'm gonna modify it. One, two, three, four, without the jump. Breathe out. Again, one, two, three, four. Don't lock your knees at the top. Engage the core as you stand up, shoulders back, look straight ahead. If you watch Michelle when she does the high impact option, she works it, she really does. A good job on the burpees. So if you think about intensity for an exercise class, this is right at the very top. And we'll show you when we go to the lab and we look at the exercise physiology side of it in terms of calorie expenditure, VO2 max, nothing will beat this. Just in terms of all round body conditioning. Okay guys, switch it to half jacks. So this is your work in recovery. Don't underestimate the importance of breathing. It feels great to be moving your body, challenging yourself, setting yourself a target that you might not think is achievable, not giving up, pushing through, achieving it, and actually getting a great result at the end. Okay, grab a jump rope. That's what fitness is about. It's setting yourself a barrier and moving through it. Even though you feel uncomfortable, it's not giving up. That's how winning's done. That's how you go through to the next level. It's not by backing off and being worried or concerned that you can't keep going. It's, it's moving forward, moving into it. That's a really important concept. It does sound really cheesy, but trust me, 20 years of exercise has taught me, and working with lots of different people, nothing ever good comes out of just being a steady pace and just doing the same old things. You've got to push yourself, you've got to challenge yourself. That's how you get to the next level. Not just in exercise, but in life. Okay, well done. There's your side swing jumps. One of my favorite ones. Okay, just put your heels down. So I put the, your hands behind your bottom and allow your heel to touch your bottom. It's called a, a heel kick, okay? Again, I'm doing it on a low impact option. Catching my breath. Now you guys will remember, I did half jacks just a minute ago. Jumping jacks. In fact, if you wanna do it a little bit more advanced than the half jack, this is another option for you. Just takes it up a bit. And if you're saying to me, well, it's not really low impact, it's hit. It's not supposed to be. There are low impact options, but you've got to challenge yourself. Okay, the next one, let's modify it into burpees. One, two, three, four. Breathe out, suck in the core. One, two, three, four. So, in fact, all I'm doing here is I'm just taking out the impact element. 10 more seconds, and jobs are good in. If you've survived this, I want you to try Michelle's high impact option of the same class. Okay, shake your arms, shake your legs. Whew. Right, choose a leg, step down through the heel, interlink your fingers, reach up towards the ceiling. 45 seconds to a minute, switch. Reach out in front, make sure your feet are parallel. That's hard work, and that's 10 minutes. And that's just because we've taken the, the intensity right up. And you can see why these classes are actually shorter. In the master class, I think we do 30 minutes. That's because it's not sustainable to do longer, because you're channeling much more of your energy, mental and physical, into the class. Switch legs for me. 
So yeah, it is a different style. It's a different animal completely. So guys, skip fusion hit. 10 minutes, that was low impact, believe it or not, I'm sweating. Try Michelle's class, providing you can do that, I want you to step it up to the next level, 20 minutes, well done.